Hello everybody, haha no here, this time bringing you Jungle Wukong. Jungle Wukong's pretty quick in the jungle, he has an AoE attack that also doubles as an attack speed steroid, which really helps him clear camps, and he has an attack speed reset, that meaning once he gets something with a proc, such as Modred's Razors, he can double proc, and it'll end up doing a lot of damage and speeding through the jungle very quickly. He's also an extremely fun character to play. He's got a cool sound set, a cool feel to him. He just kind of feels like a neat character. On top of being a fun character to play, he has a pretty strong team fight as well. He's able to get into the middle of a group of enemies and knock them all up and heavily disrupting the enemy team while being still mobile with his E to gasp close as well as shredding armor on some of the tanks and or squishier targets to take them down faster. He is an extremely strong kit and he has a high skill cap because of his decoy and you're able to do some great juking and a whole bunch of really fun tricks that I had a great time doing. Now he's not the perfect jungler and that's for sure. He has pretty bad early sustain. I did have to go claw 5 on him. He's also pretty hard to play, pretty hard to get the hang of at first because you have to be in and out of fights and you have to know when to use your decoy because you'll only really get a chance to use it once and you have to know when to use your ultimate and also using your ultimate to chain with other things can sometimes be tricky. His ganks are also not too great until level 6. He does have a gap closer but he needs an additional source of CC in order to do a lot of damage before he has his ultimate. After his ultimate, they're much stronger. One topic of importance for Wukong that I found important was your single target DPS. You need to be able to chain your abilities together in order to optimize how well you do with Wukong. He has an auto attack reset as well as an attack speed steroid. So you can see here me fighting this training dummy, aka Top Tower. I'm able to use my E as often as possible to pick up that extra, extra attack speed on the minions. And I'm also using my auto attack reset to deal more damage. And this is, allows me to take down this turret pretty early in the game with almost no items, all by myself. Where this becomes important is when you only have a small time frame to use your abilities, such as here, where I'm able to move in and quick auto attack and then Q again in order to take Vayne down. You want to know what you can do so things like this don't happen, where I think I can kill Katarina, however I was wrong, and we end up dying. I mentioned his pre-6 ganks work great without other CC, however he still can do damage. I go onto this vein and she blows me back, so I change targets to their Teemo support. This is a concept not specific to Wukong, however is important, as you need to pick up targets you know you can kill. I back off of this vein here because Karthus has a good ultimate on her. One thing that is specific to Wukong is I use my decoy as a gap closer on lanes. This allows me a second or two of extra time to run into the lane cloaked and be undetected. That helps me close the gap and pick up this kill here, and despite them taking down Leona, we're able to pick up a double kill on bottom when they were both full health. Wukong has the ability to do a lot of damage early, but and he also has the ability to get into lane pretty much undetected, as you can see again here. I use my decoy to move in on Mordekaiser, and then we go in on him. He turns around to fight Kennen, but Kennen's playing smarter and backs off. I continue to DPS Mordekaiser when he flashes out. Kennen then goes forward, I use my gap closer to come in, and we pick up the kill. Because of his strong kit, he's also able to dive towers pretty easily. Here Shen and Asher on their tower, and we go in and use our CC to chain them down. We then continue to deal damage while Leona takes this tower. She backs out, and I continue to take the tower while we take down this Shen, allowing us another double kill on bottom lane. After your ultimate, your damage goes up dramatically. Here I'm going to sneak around into the bushes and try and pick up a kill on this bottom lane. I'm going to use my decoy to get a little bit of distance on them, and then I'm going to close the gap and knock, up with, knock them up with my ultimate. Then I'm going to rely on my team in order to pick up the rest of the kills. So here, I'm doing a lot of damage, however most of what I'm doing here is providing CC. Whenever you're ganking, you need to know what you're going to be providing, and Wukong provides both CC and damage. I pick up a quick kill on Ash on bottom lane, and then Nocturne uses his ultimate to close the gap and try and take down our laner. I immediately use my ultimate, but it is blocked by him, so I'm trying to peel him off of my laner. My laner does go down, however I'm able to continuously DPS this Nocturne and flash to pick up the kill. After your ultimate, your CC and damage is really high. I'd use my combo really quick to jump on this Fizz, and in combination with Kennen, we take him down almost immediately from full health. 
And the same can be seen here with Mordekaiser. He's at 100% HP, however we're able to go in and do enough damage and disruption to take him down from full health. The disruption and damage output that Wukong has can also be used to counter jungle. I know Mr. Yi was going to pick up his red, so I sat in the bushes for a little bit and waited for him, and then I moved in on him to pick up the kill and the red buff. One of the reasons many people hate Wukong is because his decoy is very annoying to deal with. But since you're playing Wukong, you're able to take advantage of this. I suspect they're doing dragons, so I move in to take it. I move in, start to deal damage to this dragon, and then end up stealing it with a smite. I then move forward to this wall, using my decoy and flash to shake Nautilus's ultimate and run away from the fight. I'm still being tracked by Warwick, however, because of his blood scent, so I'm running away while Riven and my team provide me time. I continue to walk away, and they are chasing me up the river still. They're going to come down onto me in this mid tower, and then through using my decoy and juking properly, I'm able to get away. So Nautilus snares me, I come back, use my decoy to get, gain some distance, and then I use my E to jump back at Nautilus, and then my ultimate to keep him up in the air and get myself out of it with the additional move speed boost. Fighting on Wukong can be difficult at times. You get really tanky when you're near other people, however you're not a full-blown full tank. You also deal a lot of damage, however you're not the primary damage on your team. This allows you to be in and out of fights constantly, and you have to come in and find your opportunities. Here I was taking too much damage, so I decided to get out of the fight, and then saw that Karsus was continuing it, so I moved back into the fight. Fane was caught a little bit out of position here. I used my ultimate and have to flash to close the gap with her flash. And again, I move out because I can't take full tower aggro. I then move back in in order to pick up the kill on Nocturne, and we start to deal damage to Shen. I'm not a full tank, so I'm not going to dive these two people on their tower, especially after that Fizz ultimate went down. This in and out can get complicated for people not familiar with Wukong. However, over time, you'll figure out what you need to be doing. So, I hope you enjoyed this video on Wukong. He's a pretty fast jungler, he's sustained after he gets his wriggles, he's really fun to play, he's got a great team fight, and he has an extremely strong kit with a really high skill cap. His early ganks aren't the best, however they're still good, and he still does have a gap closer, and any additional CC makes him even better. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, check out my other videos, subscribe, or like this. Till then, good luck, have fun.